Hello everyone and welcome to the Shrimpy channel. In this video, we're going to talk about market slippage for cryptocurrency exchanges and how to prevent it when executing trades on a cryptocurrency exchange. As you can see, I've loaded up my Shrimpy application. I'm currently navigated over to the trading tab where I've loaded up the LTC USDT trading pair and I'm currently on the Binance exchange. On the left hand side over here, we have the order books. These are the current orders available on the exchange when we are trying to buy or sell Litecoin. In the middle here, we have the price chart. This is the price of LTC in terms of USDT over time. And then on the right hand side, we have the trade history. The trade history is where we could see each individual trade that was executed on the exchange for this trading pair. So let's get into slippage. What is slippage? So before we could talk about slippage, we must first understand market orders. Market orders allow you to place an order on the exchange at the current market price for any amount that you would like. Say we want to buy LTC, we can input one LTC and we could send this order to the exchange and they will purchase one LTC for us in this case, we would need to have 62.75 USDT in order to execute the trade, but let's imagine we have that. Once we place the order, the exchange would look at the order book and they would take the best prices available on the order book at this time. Now, there will be some cases where when you execute that order, you will receive less than one LTC. Maybe the, the current best order only has 0.5 LTC what this means is the order is incomplete. In order to complete the order, the exchange will look at the next level and it will execute more of the order at that next level. So essentially, each time it's going up level by level to execute the order and continue filling until it gets one Litecoin, it's getting a worse and worse rate. At the start, the price might be 62.72 USDT per Litecoin, but as you increase, up here, the price is now almost 63 USDT per Litecoin. What this means is you're paying more and more money for each unit of Litecoin. When you're executing large orders, this problem is amplified. Say you wanted to buy 1,000 Litecoin. In order to buy 1,000 Litecoin, we would have to go through a substantial amount of this market. In fact, we might buy all of this. And what that would mean is we don't get the best rate on the exchange any longer. We get worse and worse rates as we continue up. This process of consuming consecutive levels of the order book in an order is called slippage. The reason it's called slippage is because the price that you're buying at continues to slip higher and higher as you continue to buy the asset. Now, this is not something that has to happen. You are able to place limit orders at lower prices. Limit orders are orders that don't experience slippage. They will execute at the price or better that you place. Say you place a limit order at 62.6 USDT, that order would be placed exactly at that point and it won't move. So it won't experience slippage, it won't increase over time, it won't do any of that. It will wait until somebody takes that order and then that order will be executed. So if you have a large volume of trades that you wanna make, say you want to sell 1000 Litecoin, it wouldn't be advisable to do that recklessly on one market and consume the entire order book Instead, what we could do is strategically place orders on the order book in order to buy or sell Litecoin at specific prices that don't experience slippage. In this way, we can get better prices for our orders and maximize the value of our trade. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our team. We're always happy to help. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.